Toto Home Improvement Company presents the Spring Blowout Special of the Season. Remodel your kitchen, bathroom, basement, plus flooring specials for every room. Call 313-728-2025 for your free in-home estimate today. Mention this commercial and get 10% off your project. Call 313-728-2025. Remodel your home today. Total Home Improvement, the company you call for your home improvement needs. You're watching United Gospel Explosion. United Gospel Explosion. TV! See, I'm a gangster with God, and I'm spreading the word. Right. Truth be told, that's right. right. Truth be heard. No matter what your gift is, it's made to see. So give it up that's for right. victory. United God's explosion. TV. United God's explosion. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good to see our sponsors out there. Total Home Improvement Company, United God's Explosion TV, Youth Explosion TV. Oh my God, we just having fun here. Live in studio, you guys. This is live in living color. You guys were seeing a parody of uh, me and Quarter a, a minute ago. Actually, uh, a backflash of when we were traveling, getting ready to go on one of our adventures. This guy be having me all over the country. <laughs> but, uh, I think we were going to Cali just before we went to Cali. Yep, yep. Went out and had a great time. Let me introduce uh, our guests. Really, they like family now. Uh, let's do the young guy first. To my, to my left and to which is your right, we have Mr. Jonathan Harris. You better give me some energy like that, like Come you on. just got out of Come bed. On, Act like you just came up the basketball court, yeah. man. <laughs> football, job, job football court, track field. Well, yeah. give me some laugh. What's up, John the Hair? <laughs> What's up, y'all? What's up? Okay, that's a little better. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> you know, it's a big time, man. You know, yeah. And, of course, man, to my right and to your left, uh, all I can say about this guy Man, he's funny. He's a sensation. He's a legend. Let me tell him. This is Quarter. Oh, you're the talking singing about singing manicurist. And y'all might not know when he meets you out on the street. This is what he says. This is Quarter, the singing manicurist. Detroit, well known as the legend of every woman dream, but in every man nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> and you know when he told me that, I had to step back and look at him. Who, who, who is he talking to? You know what I mean? <laughs> Did he just do a black thing or a, uh, a, a, yeah. a hip hop Asian thing to Definitely me? Definitely so Asian. Or is he just, who is this guy? And so we went to talking and it's a the new, rest is history. It's a newborn of Jackie Chan. The newborn Jackie Chan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Jackie Chan ain't got nothing on <laughs> And y'all, so we having fun, man. Excuse me, <laughs> let me calm down. At least we're supposed, we supposed to get energized like halfway through the thing. But, uh. Just excited. We, we've been able to spend a little time back home. I love Detroit, you know, and, and you know, we're going to wind up in Vietnam shooting and stuff. Can you believe that, John? Oh, I can't believe that. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Just a little country boy like me, born on the east side of Detroit, Mac and McCullough in there. Hair still won't act right. Look at my hair all the time. It won't act right. It won't do like your, you got like a mini afro with a fade on it. That's like a taper. You yeah, mean like yeah. Mine won't do that, but Quarter is getting like me as he hanging with me. <laughs> He's developing an afro. You see that? Yeah. <laughs> Hollywood I mean, loves Quarter. That's what I said. I mean, I was asked my twin brother here that uh, after this movie, do I get any blacker? Definitely. Maybe. Definitely. <laughs> Your black chart is going to be off the roof, and I think, I, I think my eyes are going to start to slant. And what he's talking about is... Uh, the nail shop. Uh, we, I'm not mentioning it. I'm not posting on it right now because we're too busy. It's an infancy stage. I still say infancy, <laughs> even though we're shooting our trailer for it, our investment trailer uh, mm -hmm. uh, next month. Things are happening. You know, don't get me wrong. It's <laughs> the locations and everything. Just exciting, but we didn't want to over pump the project before it came out. But really, I mean, we're having fun. Quarters to start that project. And, uh, and it's an Asian black comedy. And what I find is that and Jay, you may, when you deal with different people, different races of people, people that that are, you know, outside of your immediate circle, and you get to know them, sometimes you meet some really cool people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Quarter was one of them. So <laughs> I couldn't tell. Just happened to be. I was like, who is this guy? And like I said, so after he did that, 
Yeah. Every woman dream and every man nightmare. I'm like, hey, man, is this a <laughs> his his life. I mean, with the torn life is so smooth and and, and normal until he ran into me. <laughs> <laughs> boring. Say it's all word. changed. Say the word boring. Yeah, 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 yeah. We just getting to that. But uh, listen, I just want to uh, bless you for one second to say uh, it's always everything is always in God's hands, man. We never know what your true destiny is, but it's a destiny waiting for you. And what we're trying to do is raise up to that level. To be able to walk, jig this, John. I'm going to tell you something. To be able to walk in your destiny. It's there. It's there. And sometimes it don't look like it because you see different things come into play that would, that would really pull you off of the track of your destiny. But I'm, I'm trying to tell you that God has a destiny for you two out there, and you two out there, and he got enough destiny for all of us to be walking in. Yes. And what I'm saying is the positive destiny because, Amen. you know, there's some negativity that's going to come in your life. Amen to that. Even you, smooth as you is, Jonathan, all laid back. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> Jonathan. But even even him, he's going to run into some storms and stuff. And uh, I know me and Quarter have. Quarter came here, pole as heck. Couldn't even, only thing he wanted to do is buy an apple. <laughs> That's I'm I serious. Was. That's I my dream. The story. That That's was, what my dream. When I, uh, when I leave uh, Vietnam, when I said, come into America. Right. And then every, uh, <laughs> all my friends was asking me, what is your dream? What what you want to do? First thing when you put your f feet uh, down uh, on the ground, uh, uh, you you air soil. I said I want to take a big bite out of that apple. Ah, so he wanted the apple when he came here. <laughs> you know, Corda has done some phenomenal things. He's uh, a world known now. Uh, the Asian community when I, when we go in contact, they love him. Um, Oh my God! He, they call him the brand. Their products now. He's a multifaceted businessman, uh, owning different shops, owning his own nail shop, and so many other business things he doing. And you wouldn't know it, but he empowers people and he's helping people lives, you know. And uh, mm -hmm. and I just think that that's so phenomenal. We got to tell that story when they kill. I'm gonna do that once we get all these movie stuff out the way. That's right. And then and then Jonathan, um, we had the pleasure of having Jonathan on uh, just before the election. And our birthday, yep. the week before, right? <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and and Jonathan, you were telling the young people uh, how to work the social media to get on there and be a uh, collective for change. And um, uh, I think you told them if they have something, t tell, tell them what you told them, kind of, you know, you can't remember the exact word. You would tell them how to, how to become a part, you know, by using the social media. Well, it's better to... Um, Go loud in that mic because I want them to hear you. All the little <laughs> ladies looking at you, the um, guys looking. Yeah, it's better to um, if you if you don't if you don't believe yourself that you can um, that you could that you have the the social the socialness the social skills. Yes, yeah, yeah, kind of, but more more so of a of a following, okay. more of a following. If you don't believe that you have a following that. That could actually help you and make a difference. You could always contact, you know, people who does, you know, like people who are um, out there, like celebrities, and if they're doing something for the cause, and of course they would want you to get into it too. So if you got into it, and you told your friends and and other people about it on social media and in person and all that stuff, you could get, you could really get something out of it. Excellent. And and, and, and Jonathan. Uh, you're a young guy compared to me and Corda. Well, compared to Corda, and then probably double me. But I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, you're a young man. You're 14 years old. Uh, very mature for a 14 year old. No, and well, I'm 15. I just turned. Well, 15. you just turned 15. Happy so birthday. You fresh 15. Fresh 15. Yeah. Mm. Don't call me 14 no more. <laughs> you're right. You're right. But uh, but but the point I'm making is, uh, as a young man, um, when I was looking at the election results. And even when I was in the voting process, it was so many young people, man. They said that was doing exactly what you said that they had uh, the 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 internet, the social, the social media played a huge part in this, man. You know, how does that make you feel? I mean, it's like y'all arrived. Well, I can't say that it was because of me because before even the show last week, I've been seeing all on social media talking about how millennials needs to step up in in the um, you know. Uh, Political wise and all of that stuff, so that that's a really good thing. I feel really good about that. 
Yeah, yeah, that was excellent, man. And, and they were like moving the old people out the way, you know what I'm saying? Excuse me, old lady, I got to hit it. But uh, <laughs> no, they, were, they they were very respectful. You know, no incidents. Everybody came in, and uh, and I think that that made a difference in the Democrats taking the House. You know, one of the seats. You know, House Senate pres presidency, the executive branch. That we had no voice at all for the last two years. You know, there was three. They he owned both houses and the presidency. So it was like, what, what, what? I'm, I'm gonna do this. I'm, I'm changing. I'm gonna take your food stamps. What, what, what you gonna do? I mean, you know, I ain't just saying food stamps, but. You know, uh, uh, yeah. you can't come in the country. What, what, what? Anything he gonna want to do, he could just about put out there and do. And it was like, oh man, I'm scared of this guy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But but with this young people and um, the the melting pot, I think uh, different different races and nationalities all rose to the challenge. Don't you think it was a multi uh, pot that made that happen? What you think? Um, well, I mean, to me, I think it's good to have. Uh, I'm not too much in uh, political, but you know, yeah. it's always good to uh, to uh, have uh, not just one man control everything. It's Absolutely, just, it's just be better. So that Absolutely. way, at least uh, someone hold back the leg, so the arm <laughs> instead of check and balance. <laughs> I thought you would be more political. I thought I was thinking quarter for president, quarter for oh, president, yeah. quarter for president. You never know, know, right? You never know, right? <laughs> I might be so politi uh, political when I grow up. Yeah, right, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Then you get to wear that hat I was wearing last second. <laughs> there you go. Uh, listen, so um, so change is in the air, man. And uh, uh, let's just let's just look at the positive change and where we're going. Uh, Jonathan, uh, if you could give a positive light, this is our positivity segment. We're like halfway into the show. This is where we give a word to people to encourage them. Um, you'll have a different word than me. I'll have a different word than you. But to your own peers, for people that's dream chasing, uh, looking for their next level, uh, for people that's just trying to get through the day that's having, you know, sometimes it's hard even to do that, you know, uh, keep their head together. What positive thing would you tell them, you know, to help them make it through? It's not over. It's just now, it's just starting. If you, if you have a dream and you want, you want to accomplish it, you can't rush into it. And then, because it, you rush into it, you're not gonna know what you're not gonna know what you're doing. You gotta you gotta get into it slowly, because what you want is gonna. I've been told that when you want it, it creeps up on you. That's hey, what you told that's me what I week. told you. you told Success me, does creep it creeps up on you. Up on you. Hard, keep you know, working hard. Come on, come on, keep talking. Come, <laughs> keep talking, young man. It creeps up on you, Look so at him. You can't really, can't really. You know, if you dream, you can't. Can't just you can't just jump right into it. You know you gotta you gotta Keep prepare going. for it. You gotta get through everything. You gotta know what you're doing. Get yep. through every obstacle and all of that in order to get what you what you dream for and what you want to accomplish. And don't ever ever you can't ever quit. Right. True. Quitting. So no quitting, no, no quitting. quitting. Oh, that's a good one, man. You went to quoting me. My the hair on the back, of my neck stood up. Especially when you're almost <laughs> there. Yeah, yeah. You, you there? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> that's all. Uh -oh. <laughs> you, you right, right. Uh, I love that positive thought, you know. And and yeah. and you know, from this is what we need to be able to encourage our people. Period. Uh, young, old, black, white. Uh, 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 people like Quarter, that's everything here, almost Afro. Brown. Everybody needs to be encouraged and, and you know. Be positive. It's a good job. You're doing always. a good job. You know, you're always doing a good job even when you fall off. Just look at the good things you did oh, today yeah. and not the bad and let's work on the good. Mm -hmm. Quarter, give them, give them a word of encouragement. Something to push <laughs> them through because that's what you do. Never give up. Never that's, give up. That's definitely. And it's never too late. Okay, anything you do out there, I mean, believe to yourself, and the key to be success always start out with working hard, yeah. but work smart. Don't mm. work like too hard, but work smart. Work hard and work smart, and uh, got to have goal. I mm. mean, you know, have to have to, uh, something that you have to dream for. Yes. Um, set up your goal, set up your target, so at, at least when you aim it for something. Um, aimed it for your goal. At least, if you miss it, it's still always around that 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 goal, around that target. So you don't mm. like kind of uh, uh, um, uh, missed uh, 
uh, leading. Um, mm. It's really it's, it's something there for you to aim for. So um, uh, you got to have to dream, you have to plan for it. So um, it's really, um, that's just my, my, uh, my uh, opinion. And, uh, you know, what that's why I just I shut up. It. I just yeah. shut up and let him run it. with it, man. <laughs> yeah, keep it the the positive and, and, and moving Take forward. It. Take yeah. it. Take the yeah. show, man. Can't let the disasters <laughs> overpower you near. That's right. You know that. To those that are feeling depressed after some of the shootings we've had over the last <laughs> even couple of months, it's been crazy. I'm saying it's hope. It's hope even then. Keep going. you got to keep your head up. Um, for those that are depressed that may be thinking something suicidal or even worse, going out and shooting up a place and all of that, I'm saying this a better way. Pause. Put a pause in your life a minute. Breathe a minute. And whatever you feel isn't always as bad as it seems. You understand what I'm saying? He's if you take a time thing. to think, right. Uh, have you had your heart broke yet? Yes. Wow, poor young man. Already. Well, that, I was going to preach to you about him. <laughs> you know, I say, if you didn't, it's coming, brother. I but was I'm lucky. Saying, I never know how that felt. Really? <laughs> I never. Oh, you made your, your sweetheart. Well, I know. Yeah, I know. My wife, since we were we were born, and oh. we was born in the same hospital, oh uh, same goodness. month, same year, grow up together, and become a best friend. And wow! And I came to United States five years prior before she came, and here we all came. Yeah, I look at you. Yeah, you, yeah, leave, like, you leave. <laughs> you leave. You leave. The fairy tale lies. <laughs> His life is a TV show, man. When you see Coyle, I mean, he got like it's a just jet an easy ski. life. It's a jet ski in his backyard with a platoon behind him. <laughs> but but um, I'm just saying that even if those people that have a hard time, only thing I'm trying to say is just take a pause because even a broke heart heals. You know what I'm saying? Even even if you find yourself down a minute, and there's an upside to it. And you know, I'm I'm saying I'm reaching out for the people. That, that need help right now. The shattered people, to my people out there, uh, our Facebook girl is so pretty. She's just holding her camera just right. Her arms <laughs> must hurt. So we're on Facebook Live. If you guys go on Facebook, we're going to give you the social medias now uh, where you'll be able to go in to see this. We're going to start with uh, Court. Give them, give, them, quick, give them some of your uh, call letters. Like? your Facebooks and social media. Oh, you Don't mean. give them your home number because they'll be at your door, man. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. You want to give out my birthday and social security number? <laughs> right. <laughs> Just right. kidding. Well, um, you can all, uh, um, all can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter. Everything is under Singing Manicures. So singing just, Manicures. Yeah, just uh, follow and, uh, and uh, yeah, that's a lot of positive thing that I always post on my Facebook and Instagram. It's, it's just very positive. So it is. Some it people is. should look at that, follow me, and they always have a good feeling. He said, "Ah, oh, every time I feel down, I just look you up, singing yeah. manicures, watching my video on YouTube. That will light up your day." It oh, you will. just mentioned it about will. that. <laughs> <laughs> you just, you just watched I, the I video. I don't even want to see that just because it last night, and then before you guys came in, they were playing the uh, a segment from a while ago. Played a little bit of that same music uh. on TV. <laughs> yeah, and uh, he's so wild. Court is so wild, man. Lord help me. I, tell the truth. I, I meet this guy, he in there playing with a horse. <laughs> got the horse foot in his lap, fouling on the horse with a big old foul about <laughs> big and foul. He foul and he gay, foul. and this is real, man. I say, I got to do something with this guy. <laughs> I give a horse a pedicure. I call it a, people call it a pedicure. I call it a pedicure. The pedicure because you got four hands, four hands or four feet or whatever. And, and so he following this horse thing. And then when he went to polish the nail, I said, that's it. I'm through. Let's do something, man. And that's how the nail shop came that's about. That's right. And, uh, and so, and so um, uh, Jonathan, give him a little bit of your, uh, I ain't going to ask you the same. Jonathan, I'll keep that a secret a minute. But uh, give them a little bit of your uh, some of your social media where um, they can find you, you at. Get me on Twitter at Jonathan Harris Official. That's J O N A T H A N H A R R I S Official. And you can get me on Instagram is the same thing. And on Instagram, Jonathan Harris Jr. Jonathan Harris Official. <laughs> official. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Well, okay. So listen. So we were thinking. Me and Corda were thinking, and uh, 
some of my partners y'all might not know here. I consider Sean the director here a partner. You know, you know another young brother just talented, all at restaurants and everything. But and Sean, uh, he's a producer too, with his own TV shows and stuff with young people singing and uh, Renee stepping out in faith. You know Renee up front. You know Renee has her uh, show that broadcast to the Virgin Islands every day. And so I say, if we get in here and go to Brandon, Jonathan, getting them out here and different, different people. Uh, she plays um, uh, unsigned artists all the time. I mean, on, uh, that's not with a major, give them a way to get out here. And uh, we all have a concern like that. But uh, what if we could find a young person that might can sing a little bit of dance or do something, just be another mm -hmm. positive mm -hmm. image. Like we did your cousin, Isaac Brown. Yeah. Right in the seat you was in. Bam. I think he won that seat. One of these seats, Isaac was sitting around. Then he wound up in my seat in the middle, uh, interviewing me. I said, Wait a minute, kid. What did you do? But he did a great job. And, you know, seeing these people come up, seeing these young people come up. Uh, Corda got a son. I said, Man, I got to put you in the movie. This year, guy just, he ain't saying nothing. I said, he just, he just looked like a little Bruce Lee or something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um, you sung some song the other day. I just want you to get Are you putting me on the spot again? I'm going to blast you, man. For the third time? That's why I bring you in here. <laughs> let me bring this guy in and, and let him know. Because there's a different audience every time. And they need to know you. Right now, some of my friends on Facebook probably yeah. looking at you. And uh, it's in you anyway. You love it. You Scorpio. I know. I know you have you a great voice. Before. You say birthday is me. He love it. He love it. But uh, anyway, all you, you all, have to do is just lift it up. You always ready, and uh, you know we're gonna we want to work with Jonathan. That's why I brought his mama down. Oh yeah. I got to call this mama to work with him. Oh no, it ain't me. It's a hard job, but somebody got to. No, <laughs> help me, Lord. I'm just playing. But uh, Jonathan, give him just a couple of bars or something. You know. Come and behold him. Born the King of Angels, oh come let us adore him, oh come let us adore him, oh come let us adore him, Christ the Lord. Woo! I like that. Man, wait a minute, wow. is that real sweat coming off of me? <laughs> oh, that young man that made me respect the real deal. You know, it ain't just because he's born the same day as me. It ain't about the November the 4th thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> no, it's you just a... that is the day. That is... Hey, that is man. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it's, it, it's about uh, uh, recognizing people right where they're at, uh, finding the talent in all of us. It's every, everyone has a talent. Everyone has a destiny. Yes. It's just so great that... Through R.J. Watkins, uh, this broadcast, and different different broadcasts and platforms, and different radio stations that we're working with, and uh, different great people from all the Asian world media that we that we're connected with, that gives us an opportunity. You know, I'm grateful that it's an opportunity to be able to share with guys like these. Man, they make me look good. <laughs> It's hard, I know, it's hard. I'm like, well, what the heck? Whatever. They, they can wear their pajamas in here and still oh, yeah. make me look good, you know? And, that, and, that, and that's a help, you know yep. what I'm saying? So He's a base coat and I'm his top coat. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. He said something. Oh, we part well, yeah, polish, polish you. Said something. <laughs> polish you up. Polish me up. <laughs> and so, um, so we're, looking, we're looking to grow. We're looking uh, for different opportunities for people. Uh, it's people that can, you can come right down here and present yourself properly. You have your own TV show. It doesn't, you know, it, the, the more the merrier. You know, you know how you, you know, when you get to the top, you know, when you're climbing up a mountain, it's so hard. But boy, when you get on top of that mountain, you can take a deep breath and just <sighs> do the Superman pose. You know, how your hands on this lady, <laughs> look around, <sighs> I made it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so, and I think when you get around those kind of like minded people, um, uh, it's not so much resistance anymore. Me and Corey be like, what can we do next? What can we do next? I'd be like, hold on, wait a minute. Let me write it down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Torn always told me, slow down, slow down, brother. <laughs> you got too excited. Uh, but, 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 but that's because Corda runs so many businesses as well. And, and be inclusive in what you do. Uh, be inclusive in what you do. Share your gifts. Share your rewards. Yep. Uh, uh, sharing is an is, is a, is a exercise of love. Yes, yes. I'm going to tell you something. 
I know Jesus had it right. I know it's right in the Bible when he said, yep. uh, love one another. The greatest gift is love. Yes. And that's what this thing, that's yep. really the fuel for all the fire that yep. we're doing. Because if you don't love nobody, you know yep. what I'm saying? Let's say if you don't want to be bothered with nobody, you're going to be stinky for one thing. Yep. Got you're going to be stinky. Got you're going to be stinky. They're gonna be, if you don't share with nobody if you don't you ain't gonna you pay your water bill so you're gonna be stinky mm -hmm. you ain't gonna pay your light bill because you don't want to deal with nobody i don't <laughs> want that i ain't gonna deal with nobody i ain't, I ain't gonna pay nothing i ain't gonna do nothing mm -hmm. you're gonna be in the dark you know i'm just going to basic primitive stuff according like what they talk about but i'm just saying uh caring for each other you know is really what this thing is about yep. Yep. and i'm learning that the more you open up your heart, because I really, I really like what I do, even beyond money. This isn't really about a money thing. Could be. We open it. <laughs> Jonathan, they're gonna need a new car, at sixteen or something. You're like, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's about money to me, Mr. Toy. But I'm just saying, <laughs> yeah. As you grow through it, and, and and you know, your life becomes about the work you can do yep. and the help you can do for others. You know what I'm saying? And then somehow, as you do that, don't the door always open? I'm just saying, as you find yourself helping others, it seems like it comes right back to you anyway. So, look, y'all keep your head up. It's a new day coming. You the new chef in town. Do something about it. Strap your stuff on, not your guns, but strap whatever you got on, and let's get out here and make a difference. We love you guys, and guess what you've been watching? You've been watching United Gospel Explosion TV. Peace. We love you. You're watching United. Gospel Explosion, United Gospel Explosion TV! See, I'm a gangster for God, and I'm spreading the word.